Hi, I'm Rob. Make you better. That's what I do. A lot of people believe that uh, rotation is, uh, you know, the cause for power in the golf swing. I even had someone on YouTube here coming and telling me that that's wrong. Yeah, uh, because the way why it was rotated because <laughs> you put the thumb on the shaft. That means, <clears throat> sorry, the modern golf grip. When you put the thumb on the shaft, modern grip, now you have to start rotating to fix that you're stuck. Which leads to a host of problems like five, six, seven different ways that your body has to move in different direction at impact. Yeah, and they don't tell you that, by the way, when they teach you. So, power goes out the window. 90% of the, you know, every male amateur is 250 yards and shorter because you can't generate power now. Because your body, you know, is stuck because thumb on the shaft means that you have to rotate to fix that. That puts your pelvis in a bad position and what happened to Tiger Woods back in 2012 can happen to you too. That means that the disc in your lower back that you got to get your pelvis in the wrong position, you need to twist, and a disc in your lower back cracks. And now you can be in a wheelchair, you may need surgery, and if you're lucky, you also need some rehab. That's what they teach people. So, I then teach a different grip, you know, thumb off the shaft. I teach you to use a little bit thicker grips and use horns, the guy you see here, version of it. And do the drill I posted this summer, and you will be off to the races. Over time, you get improvement and you get better. It'll be easier and more fun to play golf. Or you can do what most people do is listen to the experts like Hormone, Haney, Weber, Foley, Coven, or whatever else they might be, and still struggle for the rest of your life with golf. Because no one teaching golf on the PGA Tour or any other tour, no true pro, understands that once you put it, Thumb on the shaft, you now need to rotate to fix the problem this is creating. No one teaching golf understands the correlation. Well, obviously I do, but you know. So you can do the drills because the drills work. Um, I had a member the last year told me he's gonna, you know, start doing my drill tilt and lift. And he had been at give or take 270 to 280 yards. He lost around 30 to 40 yards going to a modern golf instructor, you know, PK instruction. And he lost a lot of yardage. And for two years he couldn't get it back. And once he started doing the tilt and lift drill, he got the yardage back and more. So he can hit it at 340 yards. So in the last year he increased 100 yards. Here's the funny thing, if you post this swing to some golf forum like Golf X or Centra Forums or any other experts in golf, they tell them to do things that actually make it worse to play golf. They all believe what they're telling you is good for you and you're going to get better at golf. If that was true, you wouldn't be hitting it short. And just you know that when you start hitting it longer, dispersion happens. That means you start hitting it more slices, more hooks and push and pulls, whatever else goes on. And you can see there are two pros because on TV they have to hit a lot of recovery shots from not the fairway but the rough or behind some tree. Right? And all that starts with the thumb on the shaft. They will teach you. I've been teaching you for 120 years. So I posted the drills, I posted the information, this is all information here on YouTube. And do that and you're gonna get better. I'm not gonna explain why or how or anything else. The drills are there. And if you don't wanna do them, that's fine. You can go to someone else and then keep on struggling for the rest of your life and go. Or you can do what I do and teach and that will work. It's your choice, right? free will and all that stuff, unless you've been influenced too much by modern golf and you become an expert on that, which doesn't work. What are you going to do now with all that knowledge that doesn't work? Going to continue to believe in it and try something that actually works. No choice.